Welcome to another episode. Today we'll be looking at uh, legislative reviews. On legislative reviews today, we'll be dissecting an act known as the Federal Competition and Consumers Protection Act. This act was enacted in 2018. We decided to feature it in a section given that so many persons are not aware of this act. They are not aware of the efficacy of this act. So we shall be looking at this act today. Talking about the act, the act established a commission known as the Federal Competition and Consumers Protection Commission, FCCPC for short. This commission has so many functions. Let's take a look at uh, some of the functions of this commission. Let's look at the art. Specifically, we'll be looking at section 17. That's the relevant section of the art. Section 17. The commission shall protect and promote consumers' interest regulate and seek ways and means of removing or eliminating from the market hazardous goods and services and cause offenders to replace such goods or services with safer and more appropriate alternatives. Ensure that consumers' interests receive due consideration and appropriate fora and provide redress to obnoxious practices or the unscrupulous exploitation of consumers by companies, firms, trade, associations or individuals ensure that all service providers comply with local and international standards of quality and safe service delivery and cause an offending company firm trade association or individual to protect compensate provide relief and safeguard to injured consumers or communities so that's it you can take it back again don't worry take it back read it again and so that you can get the full graphs of it now, let me break it down, how this uh, commission operates. Let's say, for instance, you buy goods or some products from the market. You took it home and at the end of the day, you find out that uh, the goods are either bad, spoiled, or has expired, or they are just simply fake. So, you went back to your vendor, the vendor gives you a sort of story like he is the maker, uh, manufacturer of the goods, he didn't produce it, and blah blah blah. You went back home, nothing was done about it. That's one instance. Another instance is where you you pay for services. At the end of the day, the service provider was unable to meet up to expectation or to your satisfaction. Then you, you write to the service provider, you make your complaint, nobody attended to it. That's another instance. So in these instances, the commission will come in. What you are supposed to do, you file a complaint to the commission, attach all relevant <coughs> documents to it, they will act on it. It's as simple as that. They are ready and willing to assist you in such instances. So what you have to do, just take advantage of this and let's put an end to this uh, victimization okay be assured that your complaints will be treated at any to we have a record of cases of such that have been treated so do your own part by making a complaint however make sure that your complaints are not frivolous let it be genuine and i could give you the full assurance that at the end of the day you will be fully compensated where necessary and there's another very important aspect of it and interesting part of it is that you really do not need a, a lawyer to file your complaint. You can do it all by yourself. You can do it all by yourself. Well, if you decide to be guided, you can consult your lawyer. But the truth is what I have just told you. Okay? Before we round up, I want to also use this media to appeal to the commission to also look at uh, the situation in Bini, Edo State. The uh, BEDC, the serv electrical service provider, have not been able to meet up to the expectation. The, the situation there is terrible. 
thanks to those that contributed to the content of uh, to this episode. Andrew and Linda V. And of course to our sponsor, Stillwater's Love Fame. See you in the next session.